Okay, it looks like we're live. Hello, and welcome back. We're going to do a couple more uh, CC playthroughs this evening. Now, I, uh, I don't think any of the last publishers have posted to the, uh, um, like the CC contest thread. So I don't really know exactly what order they're in. So I'm just going to kind of pick a couple. And we're just gonna roll with it. And that is not what I wanted to copy. It was Warly Heath. Let's just enter it in. I thought I had copy pasted it out of the thread, but I had not. This one is by uh, Jack P957. Should have put that in the description, but oh well. And let's see if there are any special notes on this one. Please play from gold tees. Okay. Oh, which are the back tees, which we would be playing anyways. Orion, get off. Hi, Orion. All right. We're going to do pin two just because. I was debating if I wanted to do some music in the stream or not. Been having a little bit of issues with some of the copyright free music on YouTube, so just to make sure that nothing happens to this video, we're just gonna we're just not gonna use any music today. So my apologies if it's a little a little quieter than normal. We'll uh, we'll figure it out. Yes, I was gonna say based on the name, obviously we've kind of gone for a uh, like a Heathland vibe for this course. I think it pulls off quite nice. This is a this is a really solid opening hole. Wow, that was a big uh, big kick up there. All right, Matt or uh, Zach. Sorry, I'm reading your <laughs> I'm reading your comment, not the person who's uh you know, saying it. Zach, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Alright, alright. We gotta we gotta get the we gotta get the swing uh swing dialed in a little bit. There it is. So I think like the one the one problem I find with a lot of Heathland style courses is that they you know, again, just be based on the the style, you know, where they're kind of flat-ish, and you know, they they have that red heather look or purple heather, however you want to call it. Um, you know, it's very it's very heavily dependent on on grass planting, which just doesn't really show up from anywhere. So they always look a little empty to my eye. And this one, I guess, not always, but that's that's a tendency that they have. Which, you know, I feel like this one suffers from a little bit. It doesn't look bad, it just looks kind of empty from a distance. I like all of these hard pauses in the, uh, in the swing. Buzz doing it in a way. I guess I can see that. Hawkeye, how's it going? Arch lip out. All right. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't really have any. I don't really have any technical notes here. Well, I suppose obviously we had a lot of buried trees going on there, so you end up with this really, like, really dark area that just kind of looks funny. Uh, not a major issue. Just a you know, again, looks. Wow, what is with these just hang-ups on impact? There's something weird going on with the game right now. Like it's threatening to crash every time I hit a shot. Don't understand why. Yeah, exactly. I don't... There's not a ton of notes here, because everything's pretty solid. This one looks really nice. And the, the lighting really helps this one. And it's it's framed very nicely. Mm. 
Yeah, I guess that would be my, you know, one little drawback so far is it's, again, I think not being, like, hugely familiar with a ton of Heathland courses, I think they tend to be kind of flat, so if you're doing something in that style, you're not going to have crazy amounts of elevation change. But yeah, it's it's very well done, but just kind of... Um, like again, the angles are good. Like it really, it really emphasizes uh, uh, like width and angles and that sort of stuff. It, you know, so it's not it's not boring golf by any means because it's it's you know it's well constructed. It's you know it's laid out in a strategic manner. But yeah, but it's not it's not gonna really grab you first go either. But that's not to say that it can't, uh, you know, like there, there's plenty of courses that don't wow you off the start that, that take a couple plays to really appreciate. And it's quite possible that this will be one of them. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Yeah, that's and that's that's been my take on it is like there's been a there's there's been a number of very solid Heathland courses, but none of them like really stand out to me. And I like I know Petty did one for a contest recently. I am pretty sure Maddie has done one as well, and I cannot remember any of the names. Yep, I am gonna try and play all of the CC courses. Which should be yeah, somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 or so of these. But that's part of the reason I opened the... Uh, uh, this is just a nicely framed hole. I like this one. Green might be a touch on the small side for this length, but it's not not absurd. That that front pin, I feel like, is going to be tough to tough to work. Everything, yeah, and and the greens are definitely solid, if a little kind of on the straightforward side. They're they're very kind of flat and gentle, which again, it, yeah, as this is a CC contest, you don't want to totally overdo it. But you know, for something that's as open and um, like easy is the wrong word, but kind of straightforward, sometimes it's good to have a little bit more character in the greens. But that's to say, like, all of these things are kind of nitpicky, because, like, there's really no, like, there's no mistakes in this one. It's, it's very technically solid. Um, like, we're talking, you know, little tweaks here and there just to kind of dial up the, the playing interest. But anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yes, I, I do plan on playing all the CC courses. The part of the reason I opened the uh, the window early is so that I have more time to to whittle away at these. So I think there's already at six or seven published so far. I don't I don't have a. Oh, there we go. Almost hold out for eagle. Yeah, it's not easy, Hawkeye, but at least, like, the good news for a CC contest is there's a pretty, pretty wide range of difficulties that are appropriate. Now, you can, you can make a course that's short and difficult, and it's still generally CC appropriate, or you can make something, you know, kind of like this, where it's, it's very friendly, and it's, uh, you know, like, you can have birdie fests on CC, that's okay. Either that or I'm just playing really well, which is, I mean, a possibility, although not a likely one. We've just, yeah, we started out rough with just, like, no swing. 
Do you play on pro or are they just really forgiving clubs? Uh, a little of both. I do play on pro um, when I'm not playing my society rounds. I'm I'm kind of getting the swing dialed in a little bit. So I could maybe start playing on masters and on in casual rounds and be able to hit functional shots, but it's just for stuff like this, I don't want to have to grind out over uh, you know a round. It's just it's it's hard you can't casually play on master at the moment. At least I can't. It requires a lot of thought and and deliberation. That's really not the point of these. The point is to highlight the courses. I don't need to, my play is completely irrelevant. Well, this is just a really pretty green site. I mean, as, weirdly, I'm almost looking at this green going like, for such a short par three, it really needs like either a smaller and or like wilder green. It's a great looking hole. I just think, you know, if, if you dialed up the contours, this would be, like a huge standout and it's just kind of uh, like this is not nice. yeah what maddie said this is nice it's a good course oh there we go like there's absolutely nothing wrong with this course Ooh, back-to-back -back threes. We go very short to very long. All right, I like it. Oh, that was a bad swing. Like I, I, I feel like this is one that I'm, you know, I'm going to enjoy playing and I can come back and play this and have a great time. But, you know, when I, when I finish my round and walk off and, or, you know, do something else, I'm, you know, I'm probably going to immediately quit this round or finish this round and then just not remember a whole lot from, from the, the course. All right, let's see. Oh, I hit that way too hard. Whoops. There we go. We'll get away with it. Yeah, but there hasn't been a single hole in this course I haven't liked. But I also haven't been blown away by any of them either. So. But I think that, you know, well, there'll be a lot of notes kind of on that. Uh, what do you want to call it? On that vein of like, yeah, it's very good, but, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't have a lot of wow factor either. Who's is this? Um, sorry, I'm, it's Jack Jack P something. Yes, Jack P nine Yeah, absolutely. Like for, I, admittedly, there's there's a lot of rookies or not rookies, but uh, uh, you know, contestants that that are on the newer side and who I'm not really fam like. I, I I vaguely know their names, but I'm not hugely familiar with their their body of work. And, you know, admittedly, Jack is one of the people who's like. If you ask me to name several of his courses, I don't like like none of nothing comes to mind. 
But like just based on this one, definitely somebody to watch going forward. This is just a very solid effort. And admittedly, that says more about me than, than the contestants. I just, I haven't really, I haven't spent as much time around the forums lately. And so I don't, I don't know who a lot of like the kind of up and comers are these days. So, you know, so for the, the more established people I'll know, but you know, it doesn't matter if you're, you're making awesome stuff. If you're a little newer, I'm probably not hugely familiar with you yet. I might have to, uh, yeah, this is a nice, nice closing one. Yeah, you know, maybe kind of a boring playthrough because there's just really not a lot of feedback to give other than like, this is really solid. Greens could use maybe a little bit of dialing up to, um, for something this flat. Like you do great at bringing angles into play, but there's not there's not really any trouble to find. I I think I don't know. I mean, I've I think I've missed a couple fairways, but I've never I've never felt like I've really been in any sort of danger this round. It's just a question of am I going to birdie this or not? Or eagle in a couple cases. Like this is one like the CCA guys could go crazy low on. You playing mayos in this stream? Oh, uh, I can. Anyway, I think that'll do it for this one. Thank you, Jack, for the course. I really enjoyed it. That was a fun round. I definitely look forward to seeing more from you. So I think we will we'll pause here. I will go find the next one. Um, yeah, but I guess since I don't really know what order I'm doing this in, if anyone in chat has a, uh, a, a um, request for what one they want to do next, I'll probably do a couple tonight. Did it say a plus 57? Oh yeah, I think there's something up with um, Andre's um, Andre's course um, that like there's something up with the rating so that when you play it, it just uh, completely blows your your rating out of proportion. Oh yeah, 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 you're in chat. I'm happy to play yours. We'll do that one next. So yep, give me a sec. I will cut the stream here so that I can chop it up for YouTube, and uh, we'll be back in a sec. So thanks for following, and we'll see you in a.